Ho, 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 and welcome again to the 15 day of Atom of Cyber here on TriHack Me. We are more than halfway. We can smell, we can taste Christmas. The green trees are almost there and the elves is about to win the war. So this is about <clears throat> file upload basically. So, but it's also about how to write secure code. So you will learn what can go wrong if you have an insecure file upload, which is going to be the web page that you visit after starting the server on this particular IP address. If you read the text, you learn about different kind of things like um, how file uploads are created in HTML. You're going to learn about how to create a, a payload using something called MSS Venom. You will also learn about how you can start Metasploit and stuff like that. But uh, you also learn about how you will write a secure small function in C Sharp that can upload a file. This is the different kind of snippets they talk about, and we will combine it all in the end down here, putting all together. So let's start answering the questions of this. Now, the first question and the three questions here down below can all be answered by reading the text. I definitely recommend you to do that. The web page names and the sidekick can be validated by just going to web page here and hovering the tab and you see the name and the sidekick number two. It's also stands right there. So it's many places also it's there. The only thing we kind of need to do actively is try to get a remote shell on the server by uploading a payload we will generate and that's going to be to this particular page here. This is the upload function that is insecure and you can upload, upload basically anything. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and visit our trusty console right here. And we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> generate the payload we will upload. That's the first task we are being asked to do. That is the payload right there. So let's take it and paste it into you know, a text document and just see what we need to. So the output would be cvusenin.exe, which is fine. The IP address of ours now, this is where I need to put something in that is yours. Local host, that is your IP address, and local post, that is the port you will listen for the incoming connection that will come from this payload you upload here. So what you're gonna do now is go ahead to the um, here and type IP-A, a small a, sorry, and then you can see tunnel is the IP address. So you can basically take the IP address, that is the hard code IP address for that, and put it in right there if you wish to do that. Um, or you can write have turn zero. The listening port is something you need to provide. So obviously 4444. You're ready to take this line of code here and then put it in the window, terminal, there we go, and press enter. It will take a small amount of time depending on how fast your computer is. It's gonna generate a uh, small payload Treat that as a small program named .exe for Windows, and you can see that if you type ls, type al, cv, dash, you can see the file is right there. It is ready to be executed. That is the file you will need to upload. Now, if you upload a file here on the web page, you'll notice that, I'll just take any file basically right now to show you the point you will see that it, 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 they say Santa's team will review your CV. So it basically means that they're gonna probably double click that file, you know, open it. And if that is an exe file, they will trigger the payload and make it connect to your machine. So on the task, we are asked to start this Metasploit um, MSF console that is a part of Metasploit. Now we haven't really talked about Metasploit in Atmos Cyber. That is a big framework for exploitation. But go ahead and start the uh, Metasploit, putting in the command. So what you need to do, by the way, first is go ahead and and alter the um, the local port for to the uh, number right here. We chose 4444. Four, four, four. That is what we chose when we generated the uh, payload. And ton zero is fine, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it in and start it up. Now, if you didn't do that, no harm done. I'm gonna show you how to alter it afterwards. Starting on Metasploit can be a somewhat time consuming process depending on how fast your computer is. It will maybe take 
all from 10 seconds to a few minutes. I've seen something like that in the area. Most of you guys should have to start up really fast. But really, this is not starting the whole Metasploit program, it's just starting a reverse listener. So what we're gonna do basically now is go ahead and as you can see the start reverse TCP handler, go to the um, web page right there and click browse, go to the Kali folder and say CV dash username, take the file, upload it. And now that you uploaded it, it will be reviewed. And at some point, whenever the elf review your file, which is an exit file, you might get a ping back for the machine and get a reverse shell. It should generate some text here down below that will look something like this here. Start a reverse handler, start in the payload handler, sending stage. Now when you send a stage, basically means that your payload is divided up into multiple stages. So a stage could be that your, your payload is for creating the actual connection, then it's gonna start transferring data to the actual you uh, of the server. As you can see here, we got this sending stage, blah, 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 it's amount of bytes. These amount of bytes were not a part of the original file here. As you can see, it is 7,178 bytes, but you sent 274,000 uh, bytes. So that's another part. We've got something called a meterpreter. Now, this is a, actually a command prompt where you can write commands. When you have this kind of uh, command from here, you can write commands in. You can see that we are on a Windows machine because you see stuff like DLL and X and stuff like that. So you're gonna go ahead and write LS and you can write a lot of Linux commands and see what is going on right here. Now we don't really know what we're looking for here, but we can just scroll through all of this and say like, this looks like beautiful stuff in my eyes, you know. A lot of files, now we have access to the server. We actually compromised the server. This happened because an elf actually clicked our file and opened it. And when the elf clicked and opened the file, it generated a connection back to our machine that we were listening for. And that is what happened. And this is why we can scroll through all of this right now here. Now, I don't know what we're looking for. In all honesty, I just <laughs> began scrolling because this is what I, I figured I would do, so. Yeah, all right, so let's see, this is the here. So this is where we started. I'm not sure where we are, but let's go ahead and write, who am I? We do that, ID doesn't work either. So there's not a direct Linux command. Go ahead and try shell if you wish to do that. And then you're gonna get a normal, you know, Windows shell and try stuff like ID or who am I one more time. Now this is a Windows machine, but in some occasions, some of it will work and you can see that you are sent a sidekick. HR elf. And one more time, you have a lot of files here. So let's go one back. And it is called DRI on a Windows machine, not LS. I need to remember that. And we can just start enumerating the system and see what is going on right here. We can see that's of stuff like this looks like Python. Um, not really sure what we're looking for, but let's go ahead and go one out back. If you're going to the, the to the um, to the root of C colon, you see something called users. Let's go into users. Usually that's the place where we have different kind of things we can look for. So what we're gonna do is go ahead to the question. I think what we're gonna we needed to find something in HR, something like document folder. So we are there, so HR. Okay, HR elf. Duh, and then go to documents. And there one more time. And then we're gonna type flag that exit, which is Windows command for cat in Linux, you know. So this is the flag, this is the thing. So let's go ahead and check out the code. So this is the code they call this is a secure fileable function. So what this does here is you have some variables in the top of this, you know, this method. Um, it's called I action results. Sorry, on post upload, it, res it returns this kind of type here, and it takes a an object called file upload. I don't know that kind of object. Does they create the class here somewhere? They didn't do that. No. Anyways, this is probably just some basic code you can go ahead and download. Then it's gonna generate a 
good for the file. Group ID is my that. Um, you're gonna get the path, full path dot PDF, and validate the content by splitting different kind of things to lower, taking the first name of it. Um, and what did they want to do more? Validate the constant extension and then validate the constant size and stuff like that. And normal stuff. All this is not considered to be secure. The secure part comes to where do you scan the content for malware. So you're going to scan an actual, you know, file. Now, what I would say is good practice for file upload is to, it depends a lot on what it is you upload. If it's a file used for avatar, for example, I would definitely recommend you to uh, redo the image in, in the computer's RAM if you can do that. It's 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 a costly process, but it's gonna be worthwhile if it's a really interesting website. Also, make sure that you're not placing files um, in directories that you can reach directly without renaming them and stuff like that. If you're gonna run something like PHP, you're gonna be aware that it's a very specific language to hit. And there's a lot of vulnerabilities in PHP that can be executed by stuff like log poisoning and well, it's another thing, another day, but PHP is definitely a language that contains a lot of vulnerabilities uh, derived from basic levels of uploads and stuff like that. But in this room, it's about uploading a insecure file. If the else didn't directly click it, now they're the mechanism executing the file on the server they created, of course, but they're gonna emulate that some elf clicked it and this is why it worked. So I really hope that, you know, getting this solution for the room and getting some 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 backside knowledge to it for me help you to understand it a bit more and I really hope you learn something from the room. So, wanna say ho 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 ho.